I have what we call a few fun questions, and I will find out if you like them or not in about 30 seconds. Fire away. Uh, who ruined the most takes, Hobbs or Shaw? Uh, Hobbs, because he's very unsure of himself. Uh, who is most likely to get it on the first take, uh, Hobbs or Shaw? Shaw, sure, always. Uh, who is a better wingman, Hobbs or Shaw? Uh, I was never a wingman, uh, <laughs> ever. Um, uh, who is faster at leaving their trailer, Hobbs or Shaw? Shaw, sure, every day. I've got many people who can prove that. Um, who has more hair, Hobbs or Shaw? Uh, ooh, I don't know. Uh, his chin's not very hairy, so I'd have to say maybe me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who is better on a date, Hobbs or Shaw? Hey, look, he's a Lothario in his own mind. But Shaw would most certainly provide the romantic uh, sort of moments that most ladies would like. Um, who is faster at learning their lines, Hobbs or Shaw? Uh, I just come in on the day and learn them, so it's pretty easy for me. He okay. has to, you know, go home with the Bible, needs them way in advance. Um, this is now going to be some fight questions. Um, who wins in a fight, Hobbs and Shaw or Jason Bourne? Uh, Hobbs and Shaw, clearly. Okay. Yeah. Hobbs and Shaw or Deadpool? Uh, look, it's hard to beat Hobbs and Shaw. We're, you know, as much as we don't like each other, we're pretty put us together. We can pretty much take the head off most people. I'm, I'm going to get this. I think the next one, the next one could be a, a tougher one. Hobbs and Shaw or John Wick? John Wick ain't got a sniff on Hobbs and Shaw. Sorry. Um, Hobbs and Shaw or John McClane in Die Hard? They're all going to have to take a back seat. Really? So there's no... Okay, hold on. Like it's Hobbs and Shaw you're talking about. I understand. The next one is the Terminator. Look, I love Arnold, but Hobbs and Shaw will take his little robot head off. Okay. Hobbs and Shaw or a Thanos from Avengers Endgame? They ain't got two minutes to even think about taking me and Dwayne out. Okay. Or Hobbs and Shaw, right? Right. I'm going to see if there's... Uh, clearly, I'm not going to... Sarah Connor in Terminator 2. I love Sarah Connor, but she can't come to the party for us. <laughs> um, Liam Neeson and Taken. Look, he will have to be taken to the hospital if he fights Hobbs and Shaw. Um, what about Chev Chelios? Chev Chelios? Now, that's a different man. Uh, <laughs> Hobbs will have to go to the hospital, I'm afraid. <laughs> Wait, so there, so Chev Chelios can win this fight. Well, I know him very well, so he's not gonna, he's not gonna hurt Hob, uh, not gonna hurt the Shaw character. Right, I understand. Okay, so we finally have a winner. It'll be Shaw, Shaw and Chelios. Right, okay. Found the new duo. Um, what about Bruce Lee and Enter the Dragon? Oh God, he's my ultimate hero. I'd have to give it to Bruce. I finally found a winner. Okay, um, Indiana Jones. No chance. Uh, Wolverine. Not a hope. Uh, Sigourney Weaver as Ripley and Aliens. I love Sigourney Weaver, but it's not happening. <laughs> um, okay, well, <laughs> I really enjoyed those. Um, do you have? Okay, I'm going to switch subject and be yeah, completely yeah. serious. Do you have a favorite? What I, one of the things I love about the franchise, the Fast and Furious franchise, and Hobbs and Shaw is it. These movies know what they are, and they have a lot of fun. And there's a lot of fun over the top moments. Yeah. Do you have a favorite of all the over the top moments in these movies? I do. I have my favorite is the. McLaren car chase because, you know, a, a fact that most people don't know about that is that Dwayne Johnson ha has motion sickness. So anything over 30 miles an hour, they have to CG him into that scene. Uh, people think he's in the McLaren, but really he's not. Uh, we had him in the car or tried to get him in the car. We had to butter his hips to get him in the seat. <laughs> Couldn't quite get in there. And then I said, look, we're going to be going over 30 miles an hour. You might want to take one of your motion sickness pills. And he went, oh, look, I'll just be in my trailer. So that was a CG moment that me and uh, you know Vanessa Kirby had some fun over. Right. Um. I while I love the action in this movie, uh, I think actually my favorite stuff is you and Dwayne insulting each other. I love these scenes. They're fantastic. Yeah, yeah. How much? What is it like filming those things? And how much is all of that completely scripted? And how much are you coming up with even more on the set? We come up with a lot on set, uh, and I guess it's part of the fun of what Dave. The way that Dave Leach likes to run the set, Dwayne loves to spit things out. I like to do the same thing. We just bring it on the day. Uh, we have obviously a, a structured sort of a scene that we can at least get out of jail with if we need it. Uh, but those those sort of moments, there's no story to tell. It's just the story is you don't want to work with him. He don't want to work with you. Let's sort of uh, recall some of the reasons for the for the feeling. So it's just literally a tennis match of ping, 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 and then how do we get out of the scene? So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to shoot those things because 
they don't have to tell the story. The story well, is, what do I know about you? Uh, this is what I know about you, therefore you ain't working with me. And then it goes over to him, oh right, you don't like this, you don't like that. And there's always you know, an odd sort of mum insult, and then it gets very personal, and then, oops, uh, <laughs> Uh, and then we can sort of, uh, you know, we can get, we can bring it to a conclusion.